Hey guys, this is Saxman112, and today I'm going to be doing a video review of the Samsung A437 from AT&T. Overall, I think this is a great phone. It's nice and slim and sleek. And unfortunately, I couldn't do an unboxing video of this because I received this as a gift. So basically, what you get in the box is the phone, obviously, the battery, the charger, the SIM card, and the instruction manual. With the phone closed, starting on the left side, you have the volume button for changing the volume of ringtone. Right here on the main part of the outside of the phone, you have the camera. And right here is the external LCD display, which has the uh, signal strength, the E thing that I'll show if you're connected to an edge network and the current battery level and also the current time date. On the right side of the phone you have the camera button to launch the camera and right here this is a port for connecting and char the charger or a headset. So hold on I'm going to open up the phone and put the camera down because I'm not open good at opening up a phone with two hands. There we go. And when you open it up, still retain still retains that same slimness. And as you probably noticed already, there's no external antenna, which is very nice. That just makes the phone look a lot nicer. So basically on the main menu you have most of the same things that you do on the outside part of the phone such as the signal strength and stuff and right here it shows the network name if you have service by default it's down here and the text color is white I believe but I moved up here and changed the text color to red and I'll show you how to do that later okay so here's your keypad looks pretty nice nice and silver you have your left soft key right soft key the up down left and right buttons and the center AT&T button which connects you to the edge the the, mobile, the media net service excuse me and it also confirms things in menus the right here this is the um, answer the call answer call button, the backspace key, or also it can use this button to go back in menus, and the disconnect key, and also this turns the phone on and off. Right here you have your basic numeric keypad, nothing much to explain about that, and right here this is the microphone. Oh, and up here this is a speaker, this is where you hear the person talking obviously, and this is where your ringtone comes out. And as you can see, there's no um, speaker, um, external speaker right here on the phone, as there is with other branches, LG and stuff. So, moving on, as you probably know already, the shortcut, the shortcut keys have a predefined shortcut. The up key is to create a new text message. The left key is my stuff. The down key is contact list. The right key is I am. Now I'm going to go into the menu. In the menu you have mobile email, messaging, recent calls, Medianet, AT&T Mall, games and apps, my stuff, address book, and settings. I'm going to start out with mobile email. And I forgot to tell you this, but a nice thing is in the menus, because you can get to a certain thing by pressing a certain number. For example, if I'm going to, since I'm going to mobile Evo right now, since it's the first one, I just press one. And unfortunately, I can't show you some of the things for mobile email because I don't have an unlimited data plan, and my parents will be absolutely mad if I went on to internet things here on this phone because those charges really do add up and the first thing that you'll see 
when you get to mobile email is this thing that will prompt you to select your provider, which you have choices from Yahoo Mail, AOL, AIM, Windows Live Mail, AT&T, Yahoo, Bell South, and other providers, which on there you have Comcast, MindSpring, oh, Earthlink, Juno, MindSpring, and NetZero. So now, the second thing, messaging. Don't need to really explain that because it's just basically all the same thing on every phone for the messaging thing. Under recent calls, self-explanatory. Under MediaNet, you have MediaNet Home, Favorites, Enter URL, Browser Profiles, and Clear Catch. Sorry, kind of had to rush here because my camera battery is getting low. AT&T Mall, you can shop for a bunch of different things such as tones, games, and graphics and stuff. Games and apps, shop games, shop applications. My games and apps has uh, games you downloaded and games that come preloaded with the phone. Under my stuff, you have ringtones and audio, graphics, applications, and memory status. Under address book, you have a bunch of choices to add new contacts and stuff. Don't need to explain that much there. And under settings, you have set sound, set display, set time and date, set phone, set calls, Bluetooth, set applications, security, reset settings, and memory status. Alright, so that is about it. The Samsung A437. Some good things about this phone, camera, edge network service, if you, if we had, if I had a data plan, I'd actually be able to take advantage of that. The ability to set it, recordings as ringtones, which is very nice. Some bad things, um, it doesn't have a USB connector thing, like the Motorola Razr, but, oh well. And, and another bad thing about this phone is that it doesn't have the ability to record videos under the camera thing like with other phones. So basically, I give this phone a 9.5 out of 10 just because it doesn't have the video recording and stuff. But otherwise than that, I'd say this is a great phone. It, I think it's a way better deal than a Motorola Razr V3. So, if you're getting a new, if you're getting a completely new cell phone or you're um, upgrading your cell phone, I recommend you get this phone. It is absolutely amazing. So, hope you guys buy this cell phone, and see you in a little while.